This is Elisabeth Nehring. And this is Karin Kirchhoff. And we are the coordinators for the Runder Tisch Tanz in Berlin in 2018. I'm actually working as a journalist and dance critic. I'm born and raised in Berlin, so I follow the Berlin dance scene for more than 30 years. And now I'm happy to, yeah, to moderate and coordinate uh, the process for the Runder Tisch Tanz. I live in Berlin for 20 years now and working in that field of dance and theatre since then. Um, I am um, a producer, a curator and uh, sometimes a teacher. And um, I was in the board of the Zeitgenössischer Tanz Berlin years ago. I was working in the Tanzbüro Berlin for some years. And now I'm back with this wonderful task for the Runder Tisch Tanz. And maybe we explain what it is yeah. briefly. <laughs> the process already started in February um, and it will go on the whole year until December. We are planning uh, at least four round tables with uh, the Berliner Senat, um, the Senats Kulturverwaltung, the administration, and a lot of participants from the Berliner Tanzszene, from the Freie Szene. It's a participative process and involved our politicians and the administration and a lot of representatives from different fields of contemporary dance in Berlin. Um, there's also um, one jury member who speaks as a representative from the jury perspective. There is a dance journalist who is rep representing this side. And, um, and all in all, it's about 20 or 21 people. We hope that uh, we cre can create a really fruitful and productive discussion about um, what the needs uh, of the Berlin dance scene are and to create also a mutual understanding of the politicians, uh, yeah, listen to artists and what they think and how they work and what they need. And also, yeah, to come, that artists come to know the perspective and the questions of the Berlin politics and administration. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the process, at the end of the year, it will be our task to um, write a concept with all results, with demands, with visions, with ideas of what can be done to improve the infrastructure for dance in Berlin. And with this conceptual paper, the politicians will be able, or sh shall be able, should be able, um, to go into negotiations and to find more money for the Berlin dance scene. The most important, or one of the most important parts of this process will be the Arbeitsgruppen, the working groups, uh, because everybody who is interested can participate in these working groups. Uh, we are now in the process to find the themes uh, w which will be discussed in these working groups and very soon we will come out with when they meet, uh, where they meet and what they discuss. Um, so hopefully in the beginning of April the first work groups will meet and uh, we invite everybody who is interested in the one or the other topic to be to involve and to um, um, to bring ideas, to bring your thoughts, to discuss, to talk to the politicians and to, to explain how you work because as, Lisa, as Elisabeth already said, this mutual understanding of how the artists are working and why do they need certain things, why do they need certain structures, why do they need certain funding, whatever, um, this is something that should be one of the results of, the, of this process. Um, through the website Tanzraum Berlin and through the newsletters um, of the ZTB and of the Tanzbüro, um, the work groups will be announced, the topics of the work groups and the first dates when they are going to meet and the places and then everybody is invited and of course it's helpful for us if you um, if you write us a little email and say, I want to participate in this work group, it's also possible if you don't have time for the first date, for the first meeting, then you can also write us an email and say, I want to participate and please keep me posted um, during the next weeks and then you come to a later meeting. And on tanzraum.de we have also uh, an own page now and uh, a lot of information will be provided there. Also our email address and news and the announcements of the Arbeitsgruppen, for example. I think we have a very specifically lucky situation at the moment because 
um, the politicians are open for our questions and open for new ideas because they started this roundtable process and they already put some money into it mm -hmm. and um, so I think there is a chance that uh, the results are heard and that the results are brought to another level of realization and then I think it will be a mixture. There might be results that can be realized quite quickly and maybe again it sometimes it needs some long long duration or long standing and saying again and again. But when we look back then in the last 10 years there were so many things that are achieved already mm -hmm. and that are results of a continuous political engagement of the Tanzbüro, of the ZTB, of people working in that field. And um, yeah, I'm very optimistic this time. We also organize a symposium uh, in, in the frame of the round table. The symposium will happen in June. Uh, soon we will can talk about the uh, dates and for this symposium we already invite everybody who is interested in this symposiums and in the discussions. Uh, the discussions which are um, held at the round table will go a little bit deeper than during the symposium and we also invite a lot or some experts from abroad or also from different cities uh, of Germany to bring in their knowledge and their experiences, which we then can debate again with all the people who are interested. And so we invite everybody very warmly already to this symposium and also yeah, check out the uh, dates of the Arbeitsgruppen, because, well, the working groups, because that is a very, very important possibility and opportunity to take part of the whole process.